Joe Caldwell. Roots run deep in this land, and so do passions. And they can twist and turn you like a fever running wild through the brain. That was wonderful. Yeah. It always is with you, Joe. I always wonder why it took us all these years. We never should have started. This has got to end, Ray. What? This is no way to live. It's killing both of us. But Joe, don't tease me. I gotta get out of here. Well, suppose we don't see each other for a while. I it'll be different this time. I won't call you and... Yeah. And what's he gonna say when his old buddy don't show up for breakfast? How can you love both of us? I do. That's all I just do. Yes, I love him. And I don't want to hurt him. And I can't live without you. So are we just going like this, huh? Lying, hiding, getting older, year after year, living in this prison until we what? Die. Don't forget to open them. Make everything look right. Business is slow, huh? That's him. Dad. I was just going to make a pass at you. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. It's my husband, Lou Bridgman. By the way, my name's Ray. Not with a Y, because that'd make me a man. That'd be the day. Jack Gutman, Lou. Pleasure to meet you, Jack. Hotter than hell, huh? Ooh, boy. I might take the rest of the day off and go fishing. I'll bet you hunt, too. Oh, ran here, first thing they put in your cribs, rod and reel and rifle. Well, if you don't mind, honey, but uh, I was telling Mr. Gutman you were in Vietnam. Why should I mind? Seems to me the people who were ashamed of it weren't there. Hey, I never heard it put that way before. But you're damn right, Lou. I mean, I'm sick of all this garbage about guilt. Who the hell are civilians to make a guy feel guilty? Were you in the war? Yeah, World War II, Europe. Oh, uh, that's my old buddy from Nam. Joe Codwell. He and I have been through a lot of shit together. He saved Lou's life. Hi, Ray. Lou. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Joe. Oh, Joe Caldwell, Mr. Gutman. Jack. What do you say, Jack? Jack here was in, uh, in World War II. You know the big one? Do a little like that. Pat, that was one tough son of a bitch, huh? Too tough for the politicians. He wanted to kick ass all the way to Moscow. Excuse me, Mrs. Bishop. Forget it. And it's Ray. He was saying World War II was easier. That was simple. We were the good guys, they were the bad guys. So anyhow, when we captured Germans, we'd search them. And if we found a pack of American cigarettes on them, we knew where they came from. American cigarettes? Yeah, from the bodies of our guys they killed. So what'd you do? You guys tell her. He, uh, turned out their life. Yeah. I blew their heads off. Forget the change. Hell, we didn't give a shit if it was fair or not. We did it. They gave me a medal. Hell, how could I be sorry? 
I make 60 grand a year. I got a brand new Cadillac outside, and I sleep like a baby. Lou. Jack, take here. Joe. Jack. Ray. It was nice meeting all of you. Real nice. You know, America ought to have nothing but respect for you guys. I mean, they sent you to hell and then tied your hands. They should have let you do the job. Finish it. Bury the bastards. What do you say to shining some deer tonight, huh? But shining deer's against the law. I need you to tell me about the law. Well, it just don't seem fair. Shining a light in some poor deer's face till it's hypnotized. Then you shoot it. What do you say, Joe? Remember before the war, we shined half the state and never got caught. They still got the same old game warden. Mm, same game warden. You lost. They catch us shining now. It's cement city. We used to have a lot of luck west of Pine Junction. Yeah, we sure did, didn't we? So what do you say? Well, I gotta get down the lake, but uh, I could be finished by dark. Good. We'll pick you up at eight. All right. She's not coming. Sure, why not? Why, what do we need her for? Well, we'll put her on guard duty the truck in case that old game warden drops by. I don't want to be on guard duty. My party. And you're invited. Are you still get those big old lamps? Yeah, I'll stop and get some new batteries for them. All right. Now I gotta get down to the lake. I'll see it. Okay. We just better go home and make plenty of sandwiches. Could be out there more than a couple of hours. Honey. He knows about us. He's going to kill you tonight. Like hell he is. That customer talking about finishing the war, he put the idea in Lou's head. If you're going to do it, do it now. That's exactly what Lou's thinking. He's just getting spooked. Don't try fooling me. He's going to kill you tonight. And maybe me too. Easy, easy. Tell him I'm an oil rig's broken. You've got to fix it tonight. Go home. Go home? Yes. Go home. I can't hide anymore. That's the way it's got to be. It's not the way it's got to be. All right, then. That's the way it is. Lou knows that. Lou knows what? Go home! Snoops, give me a ride. Honey, you should never do that. I know. I never told you that in Nam, they call me the Phantom. Honey, why don't we stay home tonight? I'll put a log in the fire and we can watch TV. Tomorrow night. Besides, don't all that food go to waste. You made enough for a platoon. I always was good in the kitchen, wasn't I? Just to name one spot. Like where else? Remember your Pontiac? 
Yeah, I remember. Our hill. The grass. Clouds. I remembered it all the time. You love me, baby. I love you. I'll make you say it. what he's got to do. But how do you know? I mean, how do you know if it was right? You just know. Night scopes. We had an amp. Did the job, didn't I? Here. What's this for? You might need it. I don't like this. We're gonna get caught. Oh, don't! I hate this. It isn't really hunting. It isn't fair. Will you knock that shit off? Now, we'll meet a mile south on the road at daybreak. You keep watch. Don't go wandering off. Yeah, he's right about that. You stay with the truck. Now, if you hear a car coming, don't get trigger happy. But if it slows down and stops, you just take this son of a bitch and let go. Got it? Huh? Yeah. All set. Let's go. Well, it feels like old times, doesn't it? Except no VC waiting for it. EGI. Gonna get you. Chopper assholes too busy wasting hooches to help. AGI. Hey, Gonna cut your balls off. Damn it. God damn it, I wish I could stop remembering the rain. Remember the rain, God? I hated every drop. Why'd you do it, Joe? Same thing. Could be. Fuck it. Let's go.
about us. Who cares? But you were right about one thing. That guy talking about finishing a war. That did it for Lou. For both of you. Running around acting like two soldiers trying to finish a war. Neither one can make a truce. I'm going to talk to one. I know what I'm doing. You don't know anything. I started this and I've got to finish it. I want both of you to live. Get back to the truck. But please. Do it now. Joe and Lou are going home now. And the way they figure it, their secret is safe and there's nothing much else to do. But if they could only see what's around the next bend, they'd know that Ray's isn't the only life that will have ended tonight. Thank you.